Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This week is the start of a four week water challenge. For the next 28 days, I am going to be using this bottle to replace my single use spring water disposable bottle habit. <laughs> <laughs> he wants to come in. Hang on. Come in. Don't keep cracking the door. Are you coming? Come on in. Why are you so affronted by a closed door? I'm going to shut it again. Okay? Wait there then. Or are you coming in? Quick. No. Sorry about that. <laughs> okay, you stop now. As I was saying. So for the next 28 days, I am going to be replacing all of these uh... Are we good? Are you good for a minute? Hello everyone and welcome to another video. This week is the start of a four week water challenge where I'm going to be... I'm not fetching that, you'll have to wait. <laughs> yes, I know. Where... You have to sit and be good. You have to sit and be good. So this week's challenge is all about the ball. You be good if you can get the ball there. Right, here you go. Can we take that? Sit there with it then. Yeah. All right, you have to sit there then. I am talking, yes. Okay. Hello everyone and welcome to this week's video. This week is the start of the four week water challenge where I will be kicking into touch my plastic spring bottle, water bottle, have it into touch and exchanging it and getting rid of it. Hello everyone, this week's video is the start of a four week water challenge. From today onwards, I am going to be kicking into touch my spring water plastic water bottle habit and exchanging it for this which i have affectionately named the tank this will become my best friend my new supportive friend who's hopefully going to be making me feel better within myself so for the next 28 days i will be drinking the contents of the bottle every 24 hours so it will be refilled every 24 hours i will have finished it and i will start again and hopefully this will completely kick into touch there's no hope about it actually this will kick into touch my habit of using plastic water bottles for my daily intake of water and to quench my thirst so people out there may be saying what on earth has your personal water intake got to do with the environment well my premise is this i have been selfishly consuming two three four of these bottles per day for a long time now to avoid what I believed was tap water quality, poor quality with tap water and potentially a difference in taste. Well, that is a hang your head in shame, sort yourself out kind of habit. And from today onwards for the rest of my days and the rest of my life, that is going to change. I will no longer be using these bloody things for my water intake and only be using the tank from now on it may not be full in the future after this four week 28 day challenge is over but this is where i'm going to be filling up my water refilling it out and about if necessary and using it just throughout throughout my life so i'm pretty pretty excited about this this is another challenge uh, hopefully people now are kind of getting the idea that i just think it kind of you know drives you on to make change within your own life and your usual routine by setting yourself a challenge and just sticking to it and there's just some kind of gratification once you've completed it and it kind of gives you a way of changing the habit and breaking an old habit so going forward this is my new friend that sounds a little bit like the in-between is friend <laughs> okay believe it or not the tank can hold approximately eight of these 500 milliliter water bottles and that is up to eight pieces of single-use disposable plastic that the world just seriously can do without i am a really anyone that knows me believe me will know that i recycle repurpose re pass on reuse whatever i can do to avoid this linear economy that we have created and try and get things to stay within our economy and our lives so that it hasn't been destined for landfill and doesn't end up in 
a waterway or an ecosystem one way or another. But the shameful thing about it is that once my rubbish from my local, my home by, is taken by my local authority, I have no control over what happens or where that is destined for. I have no idea what happens and that makes me incredibly, incredibly sad. And hopefully in the future, I will be trying to find out a little bit more about what happens to my rubbish and the local authority, hopefully will be able to answer that for me. So I'm really excited about this challenge. I feel like using these for a little while, I felt selfish. I felt like it's a really dirty, nasty habit like you wanna, that you wanted to hide and conceal away from everyone else. So I'm taking this moment to draw a line in the sand create a new life habit and break my usual routine and break that snobbery that I've created in my head to do with tap water being less quality and tasting different to bottled water. I'm really interested to see how well I get on with drinking from the tank because I'm a pretty active drinker, drinker in life as it is. I really hate the feeling of being thirsty. So it's going to be interesting to me to see if I ever experience that feeling throughout this four week challenge or whether I um, ever have any feelings of um, symptoms of being dehydrated. Obviously, please be careful if you decide to try this challenge yourself or decide to take on the um, challenge of changing and breaking your daily habit from using smaller water bottles and changing to something larger or an alternative, then please, please, please do your research, seek medical advice if necessary, because everybody's needs are different. And I obviously would not advise people that do drink minimal amounts of water on a daily to then go and exceed yourself by drinking three liters with every 24 hours for an extended period of four weeks or 28 days like I'm doing. So please do what's right for your body and your personal needs, particularly if you are one a person that does exercise regularly or doesn't and should please take into account your personal circumstances and your personal body needs before trying this challenge if at all or just you know scale it down and find a way of just replacing the 500 milliliter disposable bottle with a reusable 500 milliliter bottle which are also available i believe and in other alternate sizes as well you do not have to carry this massive massive bottle around with you please don't feel daunted by that this is not your only option there are other options other materials other ways of changing from disposable plastics on top of the benefits that are felt by the environment by not being wasteful with plastic water bottles there are lots of benefits to your health by drinking water throughout your daily life and daily intake believe it or not 90 percent of the plasma within your blood is made of water so being well hydrated allows your blood and your body to successfully and efficiently carry nutrients and oxygens to all of the cells within your body, which on the daily is bound to make you feel better, bound to make you feel more energised, more alert, more ready to take on that day. Water is also really good for flushing bacteria and other waste out of your body, especially when we urinate for obvious reasons, that's where it goes. Um, it also gives you the option to regulate your body temperature and provides the fl necessary fluid for sweating. There's also the benefit or, to your thinking and reasoning because dehydration can severely affect the, your, your mental capabilities and your thinking and re reasoning skills. So being well hydrated means you are more ready for those mental challenges that may attack you. <laughs> That's a bit strong, isn't it? A bit aggressive, but sometimes that's how it feels to me. Attack you throughout your day, whether it be at home, at work, at school or wherever. You know, you can be mentally challenged just going to the supermarket, especially the way we've had rules and regulations and social distancing over the last 12 months. Water is also really good for physical performance, as you've probably noted if you've ever watched the Olympics or sports. In general, sportsmen tend to have water uh, on standby and especially with marathon runners they usually have a long long table of unfortunately disposable water bottles waiting alongside for people to grab those so that helps them improve their physical performance it is also really good for aiding digestion 
and particularly if you drink water about 45 minutes or so before you eat a meal and this also prevents you from overeating and it helps you realize when you're full earlier so it can help with weight loss and it's also really good if you're swapping out a sugary drink for water in a in a uh, reusable bottle instead of the convenience of a sugary drink then that's going to help you with your weight loss also i also read somewhere that drinking plenty of water is meant to improve your mood but people around with me would probably say that is gonna be one of the last things or if this ever happens at all to benefit me by drinking water is improving my mood but watch this space it, it could be a complete miracle it could happen but uh, think of all the things that could be benefited by drinking plenty of water throughout a 24 hour period for 28 days or four weeks i'm pretty sure my mood is going to be the least improved out of all of the things that potentially could be, could get better but you never know stranger things have happened and we could still happen life is is like that sometimes and has throws unexpected advantages and surprises your way so we'll see I actually didn't realise that the feeling of being thirsty is an early warning sign from your body that you're already dehydrated. In my ignorance, I kind of believed that it was a way of your body telling you to drink to prevent dehydration, but it's actually an early warning sign that you could already be dehydrated. So please listen to your bodies, everyone. If you're a little bit thirsty, stay hydrated, especially if you're doing something strenuous or you're in a very warm space, drink plenty. Uh, from this the one thing when I was kind of setting up this intro that kind of got me to me a little bit and made me think a bit deeper about it was though that water it really is one of life's vital resources we need it to be able to survive and what as humans do we keep doing to such a vital necessary resource we keep dumping crap into it our waterways whether it be ocean seas rivers streams they are being inundated and suffocated by whether it be rubbish, single-use plastics, old fishing gear, particularly that is left out to sea, and also by sewage. It has been brought to my attention that water companies will put dirty wastewater into clean waterways. What on earth are we doing? We we depend upon water to survive, and we are in un, unnecessarily and seem to be unchallenged on it and seem to be un unafraid or unconcerned by the fact that we are making our water dirty deliberately what the hell are we playing at seriously as a race what are we playing at by dumping crap in waterways how did oceans and seas and rivers and streams and any other waterway become a bloody rubbish bin it really annoys me and just to put it simply like that we are our, uh, the, our victims of our own demise here in the sense that we are making something that is so vital to us so dirty and at we're making ourselves at risk of infection and also microplastics that could be entering our systems at any other point it's a little bit scary to me to be honest and um a little bit beyond my control however we are as a group hopefully and a community we are going to be stopping these and changing to these i hope you're out there with me i hope you are taking on your own breaking the habit yourself and taking on a different challenge all this challenge specifically to do with swapping out plastic disposable bottles just think of it this way eight every time i drink this i am saving the planet from eight pieces of rubbish and that is a pretty great feeling and i hope that you guys are inspired to do this too there's going to be nothing wrong with this i'm going to be able to drink it i'm going to be able to survive the same way as if i drunk this obviously it's beyond my control to know or understand how clean this water is or how clean this water is you know there's a scene in only fools and horses where they are bottling tap water in their flat and selling it as spring water i'm not saying that actually happens but i, I have no way of controlling or knowing what's in this or in this it's water as far as i'm aware and i have to kind of remain a little bit ignorant to that and that's probably a bigger issue for scientists and people that have better knowledge than i do all i'm trying to do is swap these out for these 
So watch this space. There's going to be a series of tests and missions and challenges throughout the four weeks just to see if there are any improvements. And I'll post them along the way and I'll give you an update. See you later on in the video. I thought I'd do something really quick and fun to test my neurological power, see how well my brain is functioning right now and see how, if any, improvement has happened after the four weeks. So I'm here with my laptop, I'm going to give it a quick go on a couple of uh, brain games and see how we get on. Glasses on for this because I can't see a thing. How do I look? Very studious, right? Here we go. Jeez. Oh, except cookies. Ah! Goal is to get objects on the correct side of the shore as fast as possible. Move the gap in the tree trunk to allow the objects to pass from one side to the other. Fish and shellfish belong to the sea. Press start when you're ready. Oh my. Oh. I don't think three hours of sleep's gonna gonna cut this today. Oh my. Okay. I'm giving it a go. Okay, but there's trunks in the way apparently. Here we go. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. We need to get over here. Oh wow. Ah, oh, flip flop, flip flop, flip flop. Oh my, I'm so bad at this. It's doing this by itself. It's no! Go back, go back. Oh my god, there's a flip flop on the wrong side of the beach. Seems quite apt that I'm playing some kind of sea litter and uh, sea game. Oh my, oh my god, this is really hard! Oh yes, we've got the flip-flop where it belongs. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, I figured it out. I need to move the trunk! Flip-flop, flip-flop! Yay! Oh, oh. No. This is only level one. Oh my. Come on, get in there, get in there. Yeah. Oh, yes. Oh, oh no, sorry. Wow. Shh, come here. Any little bit of excitement. Come here. Can you see? Come here, come here. Yes. We're trying to improve our brain function. Not like you need to do that. By definition, a three letter body part. Let's give this a go. Should be able to get, you know, three letter words sorted, shouldn't we? Oh my God. These are not normal definitions. Here we go. Section of a relay. Lap, lap, that's a lap. Base of a cliff or an embankment. I ain't got that one there. Next, go. Next, next, next. Seed bearing head of an ear plant. Oh, okay, that's an ear. Next, next, next. Vagrant beggar. Okay. Uh... Oh, wow. Oh, I. Calm region at the centre of a hurricane. To provide weaponry. That's an arm. Cool, groovy, hip, hip, hip. Uh, edge of a crater, I don't know. Talk, talk in a scolding or boring manner. Sticky secretion of certain sap. Is that sap? Is that part of a person's body? No, sap is not part of a person's body. <laughs> to move the inside, especially of a building. Gut, that's gut. Okay, we've got to go back round again and try. There's only like a few answers. Five out of 12 and I have one minute 52 to go. Right, okay, let's give this a go. Let's try and get this done within the next 45 seconds. Uh, base of a cliff or embankment section of a relay race. Oh my word, my mind's blank. Section of a relay race. 
I swear it's a lap. It's not. It's not a lap. Um, oh my God, I'm so stupid today. Jesus, don't depend on me for anything that would save a life today, seriously. Was clearly not helping this morning. Okay, yeah, I think I'm going to have to white flag this. I obviously am not doing very well with this today. Uh, coordination, let's give that one a go again. Gem breaker, right, here we go. Break the brick lines using a paddle to bounce the ball back at the blocks without letting the ball drop. Okay. Oh my word. Control it with your mouse. Lack thereof, right now. Touchpad only. Is that going to make it more challenging? I think in general this is challenging, but we'll give it a go. Oh my god. Power ups and all sorts. These are all words that people probably know that play games, but I oh, play games. Right, okay. Oh, it gives you a little tutorial, which I ain't got I ain't got no patience for. I'll just wing it, and if I don't do any good... Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Oh, this is a bit slow. I say. At the moment. Oh! Oh, flipping out. Can we make this a little faster? This is like when, I don't know if anyone remembers Snake, but when Snake started at the very beginning and you needed to get the snake really big to make it interesting. Oh, oh. Still slow. I need to move up a level, I think. Oh, it would appear even in my lack of sleep state. Oh, oh, no, I can't get that. But I'm managing to do this really slow level. Even the music sounds slow, don't you think? No, I'm stuck. Damn you, touchpad. Oh, what's that? Oh, pants. It's like I get stuck. Oh. Oh, no, it's... Oh, shit. Oh, wow. I've been at this for a solid minute and I've still got six bricks left. Oh, no, I've dropped it. Oh, damn. Dropped the damn ball. Right, I'm going to find something else after this level, because, oh, this is... Hey, level up! Less than a week to go into my four-week challenge. So today I thought I would do a fitness test to see if there has been any benefit to drinking uh, such large quantities of water and see if it does help my physical improvements, boost my performance sort of situation. I'm not really someone that does this sort of level of exercise anymore. I walk a, a load, a miles and miles of walking, especially with um, the dog, but um, I haven't done this kind of level of push-ups, sit-ups, skipping for about 12, 18 months now, maybe two years even, uh, since I finished at the gym. Um, so we'll see how we get on with that. A little bit nervous. This may be good viewing for some people. Uh, watching my gangly body flailing about in my garden. Because I thought I would make use of the natural light this morning. And uh, do a little workout outside. So I'll check in a little bit later.
That was interesting. You don't realise how unfit you are until you try and do something like that. There was me arrogantly thinking I'm fairly fit, but oh, oh, to be fair, I do think having, I did down quite a bit of water before I started and I felt like that kind of really helped to maintain my um, temperature because I know I look a little bit flushed, but actually I don't feel too hot. My hands aren't too sweaty either. I know I didn't really do a lot of exercises, but blimey, I, d I don't want to, you know, hurt myself on the first attempt, do I? <sighs> I'm a little bit out of breath now, only a little bit. Um, but yeah, no, I don't feel I don't feel too bad actually. Usually, doing something like that would, um, I think I will cover quicker actually. I think that's the best way to put it. I will recover quicker. I've took my heart rate as well, both resting and just now, and I'll uh, put them up on the side of the video for people to see but I would definitely say that the drinking water is helping me out a little bit I, I'm not as fit as I'd like to be but uh, I handled that a little bit better than I thought I would and I know people are probably going to be moaning about my posture and the way I'm doing the exercises but it's one it's been a while and two I have um I have I'm left-handed so everything is awkward <laughs> for me and I have a history of a problem which kind of stops me from like using neck around here and I have to be careful that I don't pull from my neck rather than where you're supposed to pull from so I'm just obviously um oversensitive and over aware of that so I'm being careful when I'm do doing these things but oh I can feel my hands getting sweaty on the phone oh that's a bit minging. but yeah I'll check in with you guys later. I'm so close to the end of this four week water challenge. I'm quite glad to see that it's going to be over tomorrow. It's been an interesting ride uh, to see how things have worked out, but it's been um, it's been good. I do feel a little bit better for it, if I'm honest, definitely. So I've come up to my sister's house tonight to uh, play some games and just have a bit of fun. We've kind of just taken the last advantage of the dying embers of the beautiful sunshine we've had this week. It is a little bit grey and overcast tonight. I don't know if I can show you that, but there we go. Um, so we thought we'd uh, play some games, have some fun, and hopefully I'm gonna whoop our ass. <laughs> go. Got in the road. <laughs> <laughs> Two misses in a row. You've got the bounce wrong. Yes! yes. After true. about 60 attempts. <laughs> At this point, we've still got 11. Oh my God. <laughs> you see something new every day. There you go. Jeez, that's a bit close to the ground. Is there more than one? Oh wow! We played skittles and some paragliders fly by in the middle of a <laughs> in the middle of a residential housing estate. Let's play. Okay, Cobra Paw. You have the smallest hands here, so I said smallest claws to go first. Right, go. Let's see who's got the lightning strike focus skills here. If I miss. Oh my god, oh my god, I ain't got my glasses on. She's just getting right to beat me. First to eight, it's not going to last five minutes, is it? Right, okay. Oh, 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 oh. oh. <laughs> yes. I'm so rubbish, the water's not working. <laughs> oh no, oh no. There, 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 there. <laughs> Let's just sort the cameras out because To be here. fair, I rolled twice, so to be honest, it's probably your go. Right, I ready? need to do more of this, obviously. <laughs> Ready? Mm. <laughs> ready? Do I look ready? Yes. <laughs> I haven't drunk so too two much. One, this, two one, two one. Ready? Okay, first to eight. First to eight. <laughs> oh. Oh. What do you do if it's one that we've already got? We've already what got, got that one. one. Okay, re-roll, re-roll. Go. Re -roll. 
that how it goes? I don't know. I didn't say about that in the bloody rules. Why yellow? Then we've already got that one, it's here. Okay. Rachel, roll something decent. <laughs> No way, it's the same it's bloody, the same. The same. <laughs> okay, right, let's I think I have one and then roll the other. I've got this one! Okay. I've got, <laughs> this is the fault with this game. Okay. Ah! So what, so what, what happens if you take it by accident like this? No. Do you know what, the rules are crap. They don't <laughs> actually tell you anything about this. No, I think it's just... This is fun though. Just says snatches, that's all. Doesn't say anything about. I know you're only allowed to use your fingers like this. No, that's <sighs> My oh. Oh, have you seen me? I go like this again. <laughs> <laughs> no. Okay. Right, ready? No, it's one I've already got again. This is the problem with this, isn't it? Oh, oh, oh! Ah! Ah! Ah. Right, let's just reorganize. Yeah, please these. reorganize the, the the arena. Jeez. This is quite intense. Like. It is intense. Can you imagine if there's like, like three or four pairs of like, 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 no, we've already got we've that got one. That so one. Let's, let's, Why do you keep rolling a duplicate? <laughs> and again! Oh, okay, I'm taking over. What is that? <laughs> I don't know which ones were mine. <laughs> they were yours. For definite. <laughs> they slide. <laughs> that was really bad. <laughs> oh, that's quite funny. So who I think that one here. Like, I don't know. I think we should have a bit of a rematch on that. So there should be no. What, where's my other one? I had three. No, you didn't, did you? I did. <laughs> Hang on. No, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, nine. Yeah, it's twenty-one. Yeah, but I had three. How have I lost one? You didn't have three. Didn't I did, didn't I? No, you had two. <laughs> I had three. You had two. No! Yes. Okay, one whatever. I'll come back from this. I'll come back. <laughs> check the camera, check the footage. No. Right, ready? I'm later. <sighs> I'll roll, okay? I'll roll. What? Me? <laughs> that was a bit more civilised that time. I think we were a bit worried yes. there that might go wrong. <laughs> I'm pretty certain I had three, but maybe I'm cheating. Uh, what, what, what? Oh! I'll maybe cheated a little bit there. Oh, I was trying to sort them and you oh, just Oh, don't make out you're the victim in this. Again. Again, Rachel. This, this doesn't... <laughs> and you've just done it again. Right. Right, okay. Oh, oh, uh, uh, oh okay. Oh, no, I thought you were going to roll this, but you didn't. No, as a kid... <laughs> <laughs> That's not even funny. <laughs> Two, three, four, five. I've got one that's no good either. Here, I'll try again. Oh, oh, oh. I declare a rematch, but I got that one that time. This is somewhat chaotic. Okay, that's in there. Oh, that was lightning fast, wasn't it? Gonna oh, oh my god, where's the dice? Oh my god, where's it go? There, right under your radiator. Flip We're spending more time under the table than on it playing the game. <laughs> Where's it gone? Where's it gone? Jeez, this is not civilized game playing whatsoever. <laughs> it's by the door. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Uh, well, let's straighten up the cameras, make it fair. Uh, she says with the advantage of one, two, three, four, five, six to four. You've only got two to go. That's yeah, not amazing. No. Oh, 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 ah, yes! <laughs> one, two, three, four, five. I'm sure there should be another one there, so I should be on six, but I'm pretty sure I'm your line. No, I had that one, Catherine. Okay. Oh, ah, no! No! Does that mean you lose? Okay, no, it's not in there anyway. It's no, okay. I didn't actually take it away, did I? 
did you not even use this? This is a little bit. Yeah. Oh, how many have you got now? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So this is the this next this round. Is like, it's like pivotal. This is this, oof, this, this is. could be. Break. We've had that one. Okay. I think. Yeah. yeah. We've got it. That one was gone. Why is this so difficult? That one's gone. I think there needs to be something written into this about when you've done them. I'm pretty sure it's in there. Well, I'd completely just... One, two, three, four, five, six. I zoned yeah. out because you were too busy chatting. Moaning? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, just zoned out. Oh, no, just Why don't we just keep the green and then just roll this one oh, out? Okay, fair enough. That sounds civilised enough. That one's gone no. as well. So then just change this one. Ah! <laughs> oh, you won! And ladies and gentlemen, you have your winner. Do, 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 ninja! <laughs> Call Rebel! Call Rebel! <laughs> well, okay, you're going to celebrate one more time. Call Rebel! I've just got to, I've shuffled these, I've just got to dip them out individually, guys, in between us. I wouldn't be able to work in Vegas. A monkey? Yeah, you must Thank see you. those monkeys in casinos. No, I haven't! <laughs> Pretty sure who we went to Vegas there was no monkeys the in the thing. casino. Yeah. I used to be pretty badass at this, whether I still am, I don't know. It's been a while. Right, okay. Right, so Drop five one. fruits and then ping. five of the same and then you ping. Like let's put it and you have your own pile, remember. Right, okay. Okay, so like <clears throat> let's try not to be too aggressive with the bell. Let's go. Tension's high. Right, okay. Are you taking the first shot? <laughs> what because I'm the youngest? Yeah, I guess so. Come on, you! I thought it had to be like five, as in five on the actual card. No, not it's five, five as... of these. Look, it was five. Oh, that's that was misleading. That, no, it that was, was not. Misleading. Don't you cry BS without me. <laughs> five, five of the same fruits on the cards. Thanking you. Right, oh god, and then I say that and then I, I can't even put them in the card pack properly. Wow. And right, okay, you're gonna go. So, no. Okay. No, because you said it had to be. Oh, no, no, I don't to try and like. I'm <laughs> trying to throw you off. Oh! Was like that? I don't know. <laughs> well, it's like you just playing snap, aren't you? But you still pinged the bell before I did. <clears throat> okay, I'll go there first this time. Come on, speed round. Do that. I'm supposed to press the bell, but because when we were kids and we were playing Snap, I just went for it, okay? Right, you go, because obviously you lost the last section. <laughs> this is a very slippery table. Okay, okay there you go. I am polished today, so that's probably doesn't help. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't realise It's like air hockey. <laughs> right, okay. Oh, oh, oh. Four yeah. there. <laughs> Four there. You were so... Got, got like... I don't know. I don't know. No, there's Twitch. No, that's only three. Yes, yes. Oh, I hesitated. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, three, two, one. <laughs> Five, four. Oh, I wasn't ready. I was too busy being smug. Five, four, three, two, one. No. Hey, 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 hey. Oh, no. Four. Like four. <laughs> Leave them there. Right, okay. Don't, you're <laughs> checking the card before you put it down. You cheater. That's six. You're also wrong. Oh no, four. Oh no, it is six. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? I'm polite and asking if you're actually ready. Not you. You put no. the card down and stuck it down and got it before I did. That's still six. That is still six in strawberries. <laughs> No, that's three. Okay, behave yourself. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> I didn't hear the bell though. <laughs> <gasps> you know, I don't know why, it just reminds me of Dunstan Checks In. Yeah. The orangutan. Can you not remember? No. It's old. a movie. He lives in a hotel or he works in a no, obviously he doesn't work in a freaking <laughs> hotel, but Okay, ready? 
I'll send you a link later. <laughs> okay, I'll I'll concede that was a good move. No, we've got itchy hands here. This is like Ooh, no, that was right. four. Oh no! And you're not going. Wait a minute. What am I looking for? No, <laughs> <laughs> not that anyway. Okay, we'll get that in. It was just a banana. It's <laughs> just a banana. <laughs> it's just one banana card. Oh, look at that. You nearly got all, you got all them cards. Oh, yeah. I got that power. Better go find the banana. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. I could I could redeem myself with this here. I'm going to try. I'm going to shuffle the ones I've got so, do you know, if they're not Make all... it a bit. Shall I do that with mine? Because, obviously, I've collected some cards. So I'm just trying to... Blend them in, yeah. Okay, fair it is, fair it is. I can just about see the sunset through the window there. They probably can't on the camera, but they can. Right, you go first on mine. What's wrong with the card? It's a bit dirty. Oh. Mm, that was definitely my hand. Your hand was on top <laughs> of my hand. Hang on, right. Oh, oh, oh. What a weak clanger. Bloody bell! Oh no! Oh, no! 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 And that was an accidental buzz. Jeez! Oh, oh no! That was five. That was five. There, you can take that card back. Look, five. Yeah, but that was already placed down. You, I had already put the card down. You, you flung it on. I'm winning anyway on it. That was a bit of a misdemeanor there, possibly, but it's too late. Drop. Would you prefer I shuffled? No. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, no, really cheating, get so. lost. Right, okay. I'm not cheating. Cheater. Monkey playing with a cheater. Okay, next time we decide if cards on the t okay, cards on the top, then that round that play is gone. Is that what we've decided to yes. play fair? I don't know what I'm None of us have won yet. No one's won yet. No. That was definitely me. So reluctantly pass the cards to one side. Mm. <clears throat> right, you go. Still five. I was a bit concerned, but it's still five. I'm just gonna have a sip of my uh, drink here. Mm. Right, are you going first or am I? I want some water. Well, for brain power. Mm. I've got my eye on you. <laughs> right, okay. Is it drifting? Is it just me? Oh no! <laughs> you came and clawed out of the hole there from losing nearly. Because I hadn't, I hadn't got possession of all the cards. Yeah. Right, okay, I'm going first then, I suppose. Get off the <laughs> bell! Back in the swing of it now. I could easily lose though. I'm trying not to get overconfident here. Oh, see, see, see. It's easy to lose. Okay, so close to you, I think. You know, just... I've got a longer arm, so I don't know what logic I was trying to prove for that, but. Oh, 
Oh, damn, damn. Okay. Who's going with it, mine or yours? Why did you say it down? Who won? Because it's six, not five. Oh, uh, yeah. There you go. Yeah. Now it's five. <sighs> You're a bit aggressive with my bell. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I'll leave you a bell. I know. It's the end of the bell. Right, go. I really am determined to win this. I'm going to do a bit of a shuffle. I'm trying to redeem myself. Get away from my car. Okay, yeah. Should I try and not? <laughs> yeah. Sound a bit like um. I didn't Bruce sound Weasley like myself. Harry Potter. <clears throat> you know, like when they try and get through the line. The aging line from Harry Potter. No, just me. Anyone else? No. Oh, two, three, four. Hey, hang on. You get to just watch now. Yeah. You could win. I've won! Da da la da da da! Ali Gali champion <laughs> remains. I'm just going to say I won comb paws and I won skills. Okay, that's true. That's very <laughs> true. Right. Yeah. I don't, I would offer my assistance, but I feel like I could fail. Oh. <laughs> No, no. Oh, oh, there's there's again. Again. Yes. <laughs> oh. I'm running out of there options. I'm running out of options. I know. Okay, thank you for your assistance there. I don't know why I helped you because I just made that worse. For I myself. think it's because you actually just want this tower to get bigger. You can go near the. Oh, I've just kicked the table. I'm I'm stepping back. Just go with that. That's a complete layer now. You just want to live dangerously, don't you? <sighs> I'm sorry that I'm make I'm taking you. <laughs> <laughs> See, it's not always the easy option going by the top, is it? Why? That's too... No, no. Do you know that's holding that? You're pushing it over. Mm. I think we're, we're on borrowed time here. Oh, no way. <laughs> no <laughs> way. Oh, she did it again. <laughs> so, uh, don't touch the towel. <laughs> I have to touch the tower <laughs> right. to take my I think move. this is the loud, largest one we've ever done. Yeah, quick. Just... You're going to have to quickly get a... It's going out of frame. It's going out of frame. <laughs> there we go, ladies and gents. Just to document this. This fine moment in Jenga fine playing. Moments. I'm going to be that person again. Okay. Oh, no, you're not going to get away with that forever, are you? No, it's going, it's going. Oh, that's a wobble. Oh, she does it again. Come oh, on. I don't want to be the person to ruin this momentous tower. And it's going to be me, isn't it? Oh, it's beautiful. There's too many ones and two blocks now. Okay, that one will do. Thank you for your assistance again. Oh, oh, it's oh. getting dangerous. Ow! Oh, God, Catherine, I don't know where I'm going to go. Like, literally. I feel like I might feel some loss once this tower's gone. I feel like this will be a bit upsetting. Okay. Every... Oh, <laughs> we've got a wobble, we've got a wobble. Every 
Oh no, don't do this to me. <laughs> Nobody breathe. Uh, yeah, no one sneeze, breathe, do anything. Stop. Yeah. <laughs> no. Oh, that would be a beautiful move. If you managed to get that out of there. <laughs> Shaking it. Oh. Can I can I get this one? No. I don't want to be the person that it falls on. I really don't. Oh, it's gonna go in a minute. It's going, it's going in a minute. This is going. Just so you can see. No, no, no. Oh. <gasps> Jenga. <laughs> <laughs> the four week water challenge is over, done, dusted, check, completed it, <laughs> as James Buckley would say. Um, and it's been, it really has been interesting. Um, you'll see from the footage I've gathered over the last four weeks that there probably it hasn't been much evidential. Uh, video recordings of improvements and benefits to my physical um, performance or brain function or my general well-being but in in general I really do feel I feel pretty good I would say that I've in, I have enjoyed the challenge I've enjoyed the challenge of uh, trying to get <laughs> this amount of water into my system every 24 hours um, I've also had some uh, interesting comments from my family and people when I've took this out and about I will insert, I have inserted some photographs of this uh, this water bottle on its travels whenever I've gone out this has gone with me it's just a little bit scary when you kind of quantify um, how much plastic waste I was creating by drinking bottled water as I said at the beginning of this challenge this um, uh, this container can hold approximately eight 500 milliliter bottles of water and to quantify over that that over the whole four week period of the 29 days that I have um, drank this amount of water for that equates to 232 plastic bottles that doesn't include any that may have been um, containers for if I've had a hot beverage while I'd been out or if I'd had a fizzy drink instead um, because this has been absolutely brilliant for quenching my thirst throughout the whole um, period. I, I've, I just feel like there hasn't been a moment that's passed where I've thought that I've been really thirsty and I, I hate that feeling anyway. So to have had that kind of basically disappear over the last four weeks has been absolutely brilliant. Um, it just astounds me the amount of rubbish that can be created just from one simple thing of keeping yourself hydrated and that is essential to life that's essential to living a healthy and a good life and i think it's important i hope that you guys gain from this video that just such a small change for your own habits and your own daily routine whether it be um a container this size to the smaller ones that are available there's containers that are available from 350 milliliters all the way up to these gallon containers stopping at litre bot size bottles 750 milliliters 500 milliliters all in between in plastic and in metal so you can find a container that is right for you and your daily requirements and your daily intake and I just think you think of all the benefits to your health by having that access to um, convenient drinks throughout the day the money that you could save because drinking water from the, your own tap is is less expensive and more convenient than trying to locate somewhere where you can have a drink obviously it's really nice to go out and have a coffee or a can 
or a fizzy drink sometimes those that's not saying to completely take those options out of your life you know at the end of the day life is for living but making those small changes throughout your daily routine can make a, a, a difference to our waste and what ends up in our waterways what ends up in our systems um it's just it's just i hope that you hope that you um understand this i'm a change woman i will never drink a bottle of water um bottle again i've been offered a couple of times by my family oh do you want one of these and i always said no i'm sticking with this and it and it's been it's been um been a challenge but it's something i've accepted something that i've um benefited from and the planet as well and my pocket also it's also important to take into consideration the environmental impact that producing these bottled products actually takes, whether it be in the bottling process, uh, transportation and refrigeration, whether these products are refrigerated at source of where they're produced in the retail environment or in um, hospitality environments also. A few tips for changing to from bottled water to tap water, if you're a little bit um, of the belief that there is a difference in terms of the taste. I must admit now, I, I, could, I would not be able to tell the difference between one glass and another, whether it came from a bottle or a tap. So I have, um, over the last four weeks, have um, added some concentrated juice to the water just to give it a different flavour. Um, obviously, those do come in plastic bottles, so I wouldn't suggest swapping loads of mineral water bottles for concentrated juice bottles, but they do last longer especially if you buy double concentrate you can maybe reduce your uh waste down from eight bottles in terms of in this to just one that lasts a three or four five day period ice make your own ice cubes at home everybody loves a chilled bottle of water that's why we go out and buy them from these um supermarkets and retailers and take them straight direct from the fridge make your own ice water and also products are available to uh, filtrate the water. So if you do really feel like the taste, if you can't get past that, you, there are there are tablets that can be buy to purify the water. There's filters you can buy. This actually has a strainer on the top that if I wanted to put fruit in here for natural fruit juices, that is also an option to me as well. So there are many ways that you can make your water different to what comes directly from your tap so it's always worth considering uh be experimental it's just important to to accept and acknowledge these small changes that we can all make as individuals and help for a kinder community and kinder treatment of our planet small steps people we're, we're taking them i'm on this journey too i'm taking small steps and on this journey too and i hope that you're along there with me on this so i'll see you in another video comment down below if you're thinking about trying um doing this and tag me in your photos on instagram of you with your containers whether it be at home or out and about i'm always pleased to see them so see you next time